Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, back in action like Jesse Jackson, ready for action. How are you? Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. How was your day? Um, very busy. What did you do today? Uh, I was classes all day. Where, what do you study? Laboratory clinic, clinical oh. laboratory. <laughs> oh, so you're going to be a pharmaceutical. Parecido. Ah, what is going to be your profession? Uh, no <laughs> uh, what is going to be your profession? ¿Qué va a ser su profesión? Or what, is, or what is the name? El laboratorista. Okay. So that mm -hmm. is working in a laboratory. Sí, se encargan como de hacer los exámenes de sangre, microbiología, todo oh, eso. Oh, wow. Like a doctor. Oh, my God. So cool. I yes. don't. I don't like uh, blood. When when I when I see blood, uh, I start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's not for me. It's not for me. Uh, one time. When I was a, a little boy in Houston, okay. uh, we, we were playing with, with my cousins, my little cousins. We were playing hide and go seek, escondelero. And, mm -hmm. and one of my little cousins, uh, Gabby, she was in hiding in, in the closet. And in that closet, there was a, a big mirror but the mirror wasn't uh, mounted on the wall. So uh -huh. the mirror fell down <gasps> on her forehead. And it rompió Oh yeah, yeah, she. <laughs> so we had to <laughs> take her to the hospital, the 911 emergency, and uh, we went to the hospital. But uh, my aunt couldn't speak English, and the nurse couldn't speak Spanish. So I went with my aunt to the hospital with my, my little cousin. And uh, the, the nurse told me, do you speak English? I said, yeah, I speak English. And she says, can you interpret to your aunt what I say. I said, sure. So she said, come inside, come in the room. And I was like, no, no, I, I, I don't want to go. She says, come, you, you have to come. So the nurse uh, was telling me, okay, tell your aunt that we have to take out the glass. Ah, dice que tienen que sacarle el vidrio de la, de la o sea, frente. Le habían, quedado, le habían quedado en la cabeza. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She had like... <laughs> oh, it was terrible, terrible. So yeah. I'm looking at the nurse uh, <laughs> with some tweezers uh, taking out the glass. And I'm like, dice la enfermera que le va a sacar el vidrio. <laughs> Y que le va a poner puntadas y que en tres días pa. <laughs> Ni siquiera terminó. Yeah, I, I passed out. And then when I I woke up, I was laying in the bed <laughs> and I had a oxygen oxygen mask 
on my face. <laughs> in that moment, I realize that blood is me and blood don't mix. <laughs> Uh, it was a true experience, real, real experience in my okay. life. Yeah, yeah. Para todos. Yeah. Um, okay. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Luis. Good evening. Uh, hello, Ailey. Good evening. Good hello, Adriana. Good evening. Hello, Carla. Good evening. Hi, George. Antonio. Good evening. Uh, hello, Gabriela Argueta. Good evening. Uh, hello, Fabiola Alvarado. Good evening. Hi, Nubia. Hello, Raul. Hello, Diana. Welcome, welcome. Hello, welcome. teacher. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Back in action, like Jesse Jackson, ready for action. How are you today? I'm okay. I'm fine. Excellent. Are you ready for your English class? Yes. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. I like that. Uh, who can tell me what do you remember from the previous class? What vocabulary do you remember? What expressions do you remember? What grammar do you remember? Etc. What do you remember from the previous class? The yes. simple past. Okay, very good, Adriana. The simple past. Uh, can you give me an example of a verb in the simple past? Um, sing, sing. What's the past? Sing. Sang. 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 Very good, sang. Diana. Excellent. Sang. Uh, Nubia, you had your hand raised. Nubia, what do you remember from the previous class? Uh, yo no estuve ayer, teacher. Did you Pero watch the video? I, I have a question. Did you watch the video? Mm, una parte nada más, no lo terminé. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right. Okay. What do you remember? I have a question. Yeah, what is your question? Uh, what is the difference between how good and how well? How well? Very good. How good and how, and how well. well? Excellent question. Okay, uh, for the students that were present yesterday, who can remember? What is the difference between how good and how well? Who can remember? We looked at this yesterday. Somebody. <laughs> Ni les creo, nobody. Yo recuerdo que how good llevaba como el verbo to be. Ah, good. How good are you at mm -hmm. cooking? El gerundio. How good are you at uh, driving? How good are you at um, dancing? Right? Excellent, Adriana. Correct. E how well? Do you? El auxiliar do. Okay, good, Luis. Good, Gabriela. So when we say how well, we use the auxiliary do and the auxiliary do and does. Uh, subject. Mm, no. Subject. subject. Very good, Luis. Subject and the verb. In, verb in the base form. For example, uh, how well do you drive? How well do you dance? 
how well do you cook? So when we use how well, we use the auxiliary do, the subject, and the verb in the base form. But when we say how well, we don't use, uh, no, uh, how good, we good. don't use the verb. We use the be verb. How good are you? How good is he? How good is she how good are they and then at and the compliment la invito a que repasen el video de ayer we pasamos casi media hora eh, haciendo gramática y, y ejemplos de, de los dos thank you teacher i, okay. I understand Okay, um, another question from yesterday's class. Okay, Raul Asensio, my microphone doesn't work. Okay, Raul, thank you. Okay, um, so yesterday, guys, we were looking at uh, a conversation, right? Do you remember this conversation? Do you remember this conversation? Yes. 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 Do you have any questions related to this conversation? Do you have any no. questions related to this conversation? No, teacher. Nobody? No. OK, so today I would like for us to uh, Practice a little bit just to review the topic. Let me have two volunteers, please. Me, me teacher. teacher. All right, Adriana and Diana. Good job. I would like for Diana is Rick. Adriana is Meg. Ready, okay. action. Yes. So what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like food. Did you go to Lucky? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere, anywhere our weekend. I just studied uh, how I'm um, study for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get um, A. All right. Applause for the participants. Thank you, teacher. Good job. Thank you. Uh, I only have one observation, okay? I want everybody to put two fingers here in your Adam's apple, and I want you to say, study. 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 So study. I, want you, I want you to <laughs> notice that you have a vibration. E study. E okay. So this is what we call a voiced sound. Voiced sound. Sound. Mm -hmm. Un sonido voceado. That means that it has a, a vibration, right? It has a vibration. Now, when you have a verb that finishes in a voiced sound, the pronunciation in the simple past is nd. Nd. Repeat. Studied. 
So that pronunciation is da. Studied. 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 Right. We don't say study yet. <coughs> no. We say studied. Studied. Studying. Why? Studying. Because it has a voiced sound. Studying. Now, the contrast or the contrary <laughs> is unvoiced sound. Un voiced sound right what does that mean that means that the verb finishes in a unvoiced sound for example put your finger talk 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 talk, talk. talk. unvoiced no vibration right Look at the opposite. <coughs> study. 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 That is study. voiced. Study voice. Talk. 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 Unvoiced. Talk. Mm -hmm. Unvoiced. So unvoiced. when the verb <coughs> finishes in an unvoiced sound, the pronunciation for the simple past is t. <laughs> t. For example, simple past of talk is talk. Talk. Talks. Talk. 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 Can you see <laughs> the difference? Eh, ¿Pueden observar la diferencia? <laughs> ¿Ah? <laughs> ¿Pueden ver, pueden escuchar la diferencia entre el verbo que termina en un sonido que suena como study? study. Es un sonido que tiene study. continuo, right? Y pero el otro no. Talk. Talk. Ahí murió Talk. con el Talk. Right? So, notan la diferencia entre voice <coughs> y unvoiced. Yes. Entonces, el talk, ¿qué sería? Perdón. El, el pasado de talk. Ajá. Se pronuncia yes. con T. Talk. Para el pasado sería talk. 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 Ya no pronuncia con D como, como eh, el que study. Studied. 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 Es una D porque es voice. El otro no. Es talk. Talk. Es una T. Talk. Yes? Yes. ¿Tiene, tiene sentido? Yes. Ok. Yeah. Ahora, when you see a verb that finishes in the letter T, for example, want, want, I want pizza, it finishes in the letter T. So, how am I going to pronounce it in the simple past? Wanted. wanted wanted there the pronunciation mm. is id wanted it. wanted wanted ahí sí se pronuncia la ed wanted por qué porque termina con t uh, el otro verbo land land alguien sabe qué quiere decir land land qué quiere decir land tierra Uh, tierra, tierra, uh, sí, sí podemos decir yo, yo soy dueño de tierra, I am a landowner, yeah, yeah, pero no es un verbo, 
¿Quién me puede decir cómo puedo usar land? Paisaje. ¿Quién me puede decir cómo puedo usar la palabra land como verbo? No vale. Ok, ok. Aterrizar. Se puede mm. usar land. Ajá. Por ejemplo, tú dices, el avión aterrizó, a, el avión de Houston aterrizó a las 7 de la mañana. The airplane from Houston landed at 7 a.m. All right. So, yeah, si el verbo yeah. termina con de, la pronunciación es la misma. It landed. Aterrizó. Do you understand? Yes. yes. Okay. So, yes. what verbs do you pronounce with it? What verbs? What? ¿Cuáles verbos llevan la pronunciación it? Eh, terminan con de. Los que terminan terminan con, con T. Y los que terminan con T. Excellent, Luis. Excellent, Adriana. The ones that finish in D o T. That's it. Si no termina con la letra D o la letra T, no lo va a pronunciar it. Questions? Questions? No. Okay, es cuestión de práctica. Now, um, go ahead. Uh, Adriana, select somebody. Diana, select somebody. Carla Alas. Carla Alas. Gabriela. Gabriela. Okay, Carla. Is going to be, oops, my mess up. Rick and Gabriela is going to be Meg. So, what did you last weekend make? Mm, what did you last weekend Meg, or what did you do last weekend Meg? What did you do last weekend Meg? Aha, uh -huh. you know, puede eh, omitir el verbo. El, aquí es un verbo ok guys, eh, voy a clarificar esto porque yo sé que es un tema que se les va que me van a preguntar después so mejor se lo voy a, a clarificar ahorita me van a preguntar teacher why here I see did and here I see do what's up ¿Esa es su pregunta? Okay. Yes, I know. Okay. So, in this context, did is making the sentence past tense. Do is the verb. Ver, ver. Por ejemplo, si yo te pregunto, ¿qué hiciste el fin de semana pasado? ¿Qué hiciste el fin de semana pasado? ¿Cómo voy a hacer esa pregunta? Did you do? What did you do? The last weekend. Perfect. Did you do last weekend? What did you do did last, you weekend? Do last weekend? weekend? So, el did es el auxiliar y es el que hace la pregunta pasado. Y Ajá. el do, perdón. Ok, y do no. es el verbo. Si yo te quiero preguntar, ¿qué comiste eh, el sábado? Ajá. ¿Qué comiste el sábado pasado en la noche? What did you eat? What did you eat, did you eat, 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 eat last 
you last Saturday. Saturday night. Right? So, el verbo es eat. The auxiliary is did. The auxiliary makes the question simple past. And the response, I, in the response, you don't need the auxiliary. In the response, the verb is in the simple past. I, ¿cuál es el pasado de eat? Eight. Eight, good. Eight. I eight pupusas. Y eso es cierto, comí pupusas el sábado pasado. <laughs> eh, <laughs> ¿A dónde fuiste el sábado pasado por la noche? Where? Uh -huh, where where did, you go? Did, you go? did you go? Did you go? Excellent. Last, Last weekend. Saturday. Weekend. Uh -huh. Night. Night. Vamos a ser más Last. específico. ¿Y cómo vamos a responder? I. I went. I ¿Cuál es el went. pasado de go? Went. No. Went. went. I went. Went. To. Los planes. I went. I went. No, no. When. I. No, no. When. No. Went. 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 Se tiene que escuchar went. esa T. I went, went, I went, went, I went, I went to went. los went. planes de renderos, planes right? De renderos. Ajá, ajá. Ok, so esta es una pequeña, solo para que vean que en la pregunta, el auxiliar es que hace la pregunta pasado, el verbo va en su base forma, sin embargo, en la respuesta, el verbo es el que va en pasado. That's it. Okay. Okay. Continue. Action. Action. ¿Quién estaba leyendo? Gabriela and? Va a comenzar otra vez. Yes. Comenzamos de nuevo, please. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and study for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forget all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. You always get an A. An A. An A. An A. Uh -huh. No escuché esa A. Eh, Vladimir, lo vamos a poner en silencio, por favor. Thank you. Okay, um, I want you to notice the verbs in the past. Did, had, mm -hmm. uh, went, Sam. 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 Went, Sam. Uh, mm. did, when. We didn't in el negativo, when, in el pasado. When, uh, when, they, they did. Uh, I didn't go anywhere. I stayed. No, stayed, no. ¿Quién dijo stayed? Stayed. Stayed, ajá, con D. Stayed. Uh, stayed. Studied. Studied. Uh, forgot. I forgot. forgot. Pasado. Eh, about that, don't worry. Get? No, get es presente. Ah, eh, okay. Got es pasado. Went. Eh. Correct, no. went. Went. Mm -hmm. All right. Teacher, Let, teacher. Ah, mm -hmm. teacher, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And repeat, please. Studied. 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 Um. Studied, 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 
studied. 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 Thank you. Okay, studied. now uh, what I would like for you to do now, and this, this is the next topic, what I would like for you to do is we are going to uh, write uh, here, you are going to invent a similar conversation, right? En vez de ponerle last weekend, le puede poner ayer. Eh, en vez de ponerle karaoke bar, le puede poner gym. Eh, en vez de ponerle Saturday, le puede poner Wednesday. Eh, Lucky's, le puede poner Charlie Boys, uno de mis restaurantes favoritos en el volcán. Charlie Boys. Do you understand? But, eh, Siguiendo el mismo patrono, pero modificándolo, personalizándolo. Por ejemplo, en el caso mío, eh, ¿quién quiere ser mi voluntario? ¿Quién quiere hacer el diálogo conmigo? Ok, Luis se ve que quiere participar. <ríe> Sorry, Luis. <ríe> Tienen pena o sea, que a usted le toca. Ok, so Luis, usted, usted y yo vamos a inventarnos. Somos cheros, estamos platicando, le estoy preguntando qué hizo el ayer, usted me dice qué hizo ayer, yo le digo qué hice ayer. Hey, Luis, eh, what's up? How are you? Uh, I'm fine. And you? Excellent. <laughs> I feel good. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Ahora pregúnteme. Uh, so, what did you do yesterday? Dígame. ¿Qué hiciste ayer? Dígame. Uh, uh, so, uh, what did you yesterday? What? Aquí está, ¿ve? What did you? Did you do? Uh -huh, yesterday. Last yesterday. No, last weekend, last solo va con weekend, pero yesterday no lleva last. Um, okay. Uh, oh, I worked all day. Uh, I went to la despensa de Don Juan. I bought coffee, cookies, and cereal. Y usted me dice, that sounds like fun. Eso suena divertido. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Ah, yeah. Uh, did you? No, no, no. Solo, go... so, solo, solo, that sounds like fun. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Y ahora le pregunto yo, ¿y tú? What about you? What about you? Uh, you say, <laughs> yo vi una movie. I watched a movie. Uh, I watched. I movie. watched. I watched. Se tiene que I escuchar watched, ese. Al final, esa I watched. Uh -huh. I watched. Uh -huh. Movie. A movie. A movie. Uh, and... And Netflix. <laughs> nice. Nice. Cool. All right, Luis. Talk to you later. See you later. <laughs> All right. Excellent. <laughs> Any questions? Mal amigo, dice. <laughs> <laughs> no, para nada. Any questions? Uh, uh, I have a question. Yes. Uh, pronunciation. O sea, did not es didn't. ¿Así se pronuncia? Didn't. 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 Uh -huh. didn't. Y, y cuando uno cuando uno dice I did it, I did it. Ah, lo hice. O sea, lo I hice. did it. Lo hice. Es right. parecida la pronunciación. Correct. I did it. I did it. Y I did didn't. Aquí la diferencia es la N. N. Repeat, repeat. I did it. I did it. I didn't. I didn't. Ajá, ahí lleva una I N, ahí va una N pronunciada y después la T. 
en el negativo I didn't ajá I didn't y el I didn't tiene que escuchar la, 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 T, la T la N y después la T la T ok <laughs> thank you all right ok now um, so vamos a escribir una mini conversación similar a esa en la discussion forum y la van a escribir aquí abajo do you understand no tiene okay. que ser así de extensa como está acá. Puede ser corta, así como la que hicimos con Luis. Questions, questions. Questions, questions. O sea que vamos a trabajar la plataforma ahorita. That is correct. That is correct. In the platform. Five minutes in pairs. Five minutes in pairs. En parejas. Let's go. Van a escribir la misma conversación en pareja. Carla Alas, Gabriela Argueta. Vladimir Tolentino. Eh, Vladimir, usted tenía que entrar a la reunión con Nubia. Y Gabriela, usted tenía que entrar a la reunión con Raúl. Hola, ok. Good evening. Good evening, Vladimir. Respondale a su compañera. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> es que me está diciendo ya buenas tardes. No, el, sal, el saludo de noche es good evening y cuando se está despidiendo dice good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good Pero cuando llegas good decís good evening. Ok, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Eh, vamos a trabajar, ¿verdad? En la uh, conversación. Sí. Ahorita. Vamos a ver. La conversación. No la tengo aquí. Quiero ver. 2.1. Va, ahorita sí. veo. Vamos a ver. Uh, we have a great time. Uh, did you do anything? Okay. A ver. Vaya, este, la vamos a decir tal cual está ahí. Se dijo que podíamos cambiarle algunas cosas, por ejemplo, en lugar de fin de semana, ponerle ayer, o okay. eh, el lugar donde fue, o qué hizo, irle cambiando algunas cosas. Ok, vaya. Entonces, Podría ser, ¿sí? eh, comienzo yo, vamos a ver. Dice. Listo. Ok. Ok. Um, so, what did you do yesterday, Meg? Did you do just yesterday, verdad? Lo uh -huh. va a ir anotando de una vez. Ah, sí. Espérame que no tengo que anotar porque con el teléfono estoy conectado. Vamos a ver. <ríe> ah, yo lo estoy anotando en una página y después lo voy a subir. Ah, pues anótelo. ¿Usted? Uh -huh. Bueno, está bueno, bien. Por favor. Este, entonces sería en vez de en vez de las weekend sería yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. yesterday. Sí. El siguiente so what sería... did you do 
yesterday, Meg. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And what the, I, I had a great uh, time. Le poner otra cosa. I, for example, I had a, a, a good day. Tuve un buen día. A good, a good day. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Well, I had, I had a good day. A good day. <laughs> I went, I went. Eh, ¿Dónde le podemos poner que fui, que fue? Eh, se puede ponerle que fue. I went to walk, to walk to the, to the, um, eh, Naranjos Road. The route. Yo fui a caminar la ruta de los naranjos. Ah. Oh, I, I went. To... I went. Uh, I went. Uh, fui. Uh, sí, I, I, I went to walk. I went. I went to walk. Uh -huh. uh, I went to. Tú. Tú sería, ¿verdad? Ajá, tú. Eh, Nar naranjos, naranjos, root, 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 root. A Ajá, la ruta okay. de los no. Ajá. Quiero ver, vamos a ver. Es que ruta es. Root. 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 Sí, ¿verdad? Root, se escribe. Ajá, correcto. Así se escribe. Uh -huh. I had oh. a good day. I went to walk to Naranjo's Root. Uh -huh. But Naranjo's Root. Eh, mm -hmm. eh, dice, eh... dice. Bueno, ahí podemos dejarlo hasta ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces se escucha. Dice, that sound like fun. Él puso. Él dijo que se puede poner, por ejemplo, cool, o sea, algo asombroso. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Donde mm -hmm. dijo, that sound like fun. Se escucha bien, ¿verdad? Ahorita veo. Uh, dice, ah, that sound like. Dice, eso that... suena... That sound like fun. Se escucha, como divertido. Se escucha bien, como, ajá, como es, se escucha divertido. Entonces, eh, podríamos poner. Podemos cambiar. That sound great. Ah, sí. Uh -huh. Como decir agradable, algo así, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sound great es como, ajá, suena bien. Suena bien. That sound great. Sound... Uy, se escribe, ¿verdad? Se escribe great. 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 Así como donde está arriba, donde dice I had a great time. Ah, sí, sí. That sounds great. Ah, sí, that sounds great. Great. That sounds great. That sounds great. Great. Um, y... Le hace la pregunta, did you go to Lucas? Fuiste, ah, ok, fuiste a, a un lugar, Entonces, ¿verdad? Ajá, fui, no, ajá, como un lugar. Entonces le podemos poner, eh, did you go to, to you go a Paneca, to, por ejemplo? Ajá. Did you go? Y le responde, no. Oh, yes. No, no para, para mencionar algo otro lugar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, We didn't. No fue. No, no fuimos. Ajá. Ajá, no, no Ajá, fuimos. No, fuimos. Ajá. no, we didn't. We went. Entonces, Ajá, fuimos. We went. We went. Eh, ¿Por decir a la playa? Ajá. Eh, pero como estamos en la ruta de los naranjos, ah, tiene que ser en un lugar es, que tiene sea... Tiene que ser... Eh, Sí, eh, podría ruta, ser ataco. Ataco, ajá. We went correcto. to ataco. We went to ataco. Um, uh -huh, we went. Podríamos poner a comer a algún lugar. 
Ajá. Eh, por ejemplo. Yes. Podemos poner, por ejemplo, eh, yo ver, aquí está. We went, eh, we went to a taco or to eat eh, yucca. O sea, yucca, Ajá. ¿verdad? Yucca. Yucca. Yucca, esa yucca va con, con doble, doble C. Yucca. Ajá, cabal, igual se escribe casi. Casi igual, sí. solo que se le agrega una C más. Tu yucca. Vaya. Eh, podría ser. Luego dice. How about you? How about you? Le preguntas o sea, a. Ajá. Y, y ¿Qué vos? es cerca de. Did you go? ¿Dónde? ¿Fuiste a alguna parte? Ajá, fuiste. Ajá. ¿Fuiste a algún, ¿Algún lugar? lugar? Uh -huh. Lo mismo, eso sí es el igual. Sí, ¿verdad? How about? Completo, así. How about? How about you? Did you go anywhere? Did you go anywhere? Le responde, vamos a ver. Dice, no, eh, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. No, so, no salió toda la semana, yo no fue a ningún lugar. Dice que no, estuvo en casa, estudiando. Eh, el examen de español. Así, déjelo, sí. para avanzar porque creo que nos van a... A sacar. Ajá, no voy a hacer. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Go. I, no. Anywhere. No, I didn't go anywhere. Toda la semana, dice. Lo único que ahí cambia la idea. Ah, el D. Ah, ya, cabal. Porque si no, no va a coincidir sí, con lo que. Sí, ya estoy ahí. Mm -hmm. I just stay, I stay at, stay at home and studied for, uh, for today. Yes, a eso podríamos yeah. cambiarle. Podríamos poner. Eh, I just. I just, just stayed at home and watching, watching Netflix, watching TV, yes. watching movies. Watch. I, I just started. De home, o sea, me quedé en la casa. Eh, uh -huh. Watching. Watch. Watching, porque estamos hablando de presente uh -huh. continuo, o sea, viendo televisión. Ah, watching, uh, watching. Watching. Ajá, watching. Watching. Uh -huh. TV. Ajá. Esto ahí sería. Ahí sí hablando del examen, pero como nosotros no, no estamos hablando del uh -huh. examen. Entonces, este. Eh, our Spanish is today, el examen our Spanish ahora. is today, I forgot all. Okay. Ahí tenemos que seguir. Ah, y entonces. Ejemplo, ¿Qué ponemos. película viste o algo así? Ajá. Eh, what? What movie do you. What movie did you, did you watch? Mm-hmm. What? What movie did you watch? Did you watch? What movie did you watch? Mm-hmm. So. Eh, y ahí le va a responder, I, I watch, I watch, eh, un nombre de una película. Eh, por ejemplo, I watch it in... La Casa de Papel. La Caja. Casa eh, papel. ¿Se pronuncia watch it o se pronuncia watch? Ah, watch. 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 Con T, ¿verdad? Watch. 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 It. Watch. Ajá, watch. Watch. It. watch. Y el watch, así watch. It. Watch. It. Ajá, watch. Con T. Ah, watch. Watch. It. Uh -huh. watch. It. watch it. I watch. It. Eh, okay. ¿qué, ¿Qué le ponemos ahí? ¿Estuve viendo? La casa... Esa ponemos. 
Ajá, es lo que usted dijo. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hablando de la... ¿De qué hizo el lunes? ¿Eh? ¿Sobre qué hizo el lunes prácticamente? ¿A dónde? ¿En qué, en qué parte va? Todavía en el humo, es que no he tenido mucho tiempo. Yo por, por pedacitos antes de las clases voy. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go get it. Come back with it. Don't forget it. Let me get it one more time for the bottle of wine. How are you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Talk to me now. Talk to me now. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finish. All right. Finish. Good job. I like that. I like that. Now, what I would like for, for us to do is we're going to go ahead and move forward. And we're going to be looking at the next section, which is section 2.2. In this section, in this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. En esta clase se presentarán preguntas y respuestas en pasado. Verbos regulares e irregulares también se estudiarán. Let's watch the video. Tome apuntes para que hagamos preguntas después. Answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used it? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, for this activity, what you're going to do is you're going to write five 
sentences. Positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used it? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? So, you're going to write five questions, cinco preguntas in the simple past, and five responses in the simple past. Do you understand? Five questions and five responses in the simple past. Ready? Let's go. Tiene que darle click al icono que dice ingresar a sesión privada. Emma. Hello, Emma. Hi, Ailey. Hi, Ailey. Hi. Hi. What, what, what we are going to do? Uh, va a escribir cinco preguntas en el pasado con cinco respuestas en el pasado. Okay. Thank you. Yes. And if I I write in some may can I make another post? Of course. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. 